Hi everyone, Joe McHale here, owner of Best Made Docks on a beautiful uh, summer day on Cayuga Lake, upstate New York in the Finger Lakes. Um, today we're going to do a dock installation, so um, I'm going to walk you through from setup on shore to installation. Uh, we're going to unbox the hardware, we're going to go right through everything. Um, this is what you would typically see uh, for delivery. So you'd have a stack of frames, you'd have a bundle of dock legs, a stack of uh, decking, and then you have a box of hardware. So let's dive into the hardware box and see what we got. So when we deliver your dock, uh, we give you what's called an order packet. Your order packet is going to have the packing list on top. So as you can see, everything that we put in the boxes is checked off. Um, if you go in a couple of pages, we have your quick start sheets. Your quick start instruction sheets basically boils down a 17 page manual into one sheet, right? So um, this is gonna cover 95% of what you got going on with a typical installation. Um, at the bottom you'll note in yellow there is a, uh, a note on where the full assembly manual is. That's on the instructions page on the website. So if you can't figure something out um, with the setup just from the quick start, that's gonna be your best friend. Go over there and then you'll probably be able to figure it out. Um, also too, we include a layout drawing. Um, so you're going to want to look at that to see where your legs and braces go and, uh, and what we were anticipating you doing as far as your layout. You know, if you're going four sections out and then double wide at the end or you're doing TRL or whatever, um, you're going to want to look at your layout drawing for that. Um, so you typically get one or two boxes of hardware. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing and see what we got. Okay, so in here, uh, we... <laughs> We have some promotional materials you can hand to your friends at the lake. Um, let's see here, we're, uh, on this application we're getting some bumpers and some anchor posts. So we got those clamps for that here. Uh, we got our foot pads. Um, the number of foot pads should match the number of dock legs. Um, looks like we got some leg caps. Um, we got some augers. Again, these things are going to go with the anchor posts. Uh, we got a Labrador in the background too, if you hadn't noticed. Um, here's our quick clip tip-in brackets. We have four sections of dock. The first one's a ramp, then the next three are regular sections of dock. Um, so the ramp to section one is going to get a ramp hinge, and then we have two sets of quick clips to go from section two to three and three to four. Um, here's our bag of nuts and bolts. Now uh, you might be thinking, oh boy, you know what's going to go on with are these all mixed in together? Uh, that's not the case at all. Um, we have parts cards in with each uh, bag, so you can see you know, one, how many are supposed to be in there, um, what comes in it, and then also a little instruction snippet on how to, how to use them. So here's your decking clips. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, cross brace clamps. Um, here's our anchor post hardware. Uh, here's our bumper hardware. Uh, more bumper hardware. Um, here's our ramp hinge kit. Um, set bolts for the dock legs. And what we got, and then uh, set bolts for the quick clips. So that's pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and, uh, and start setting this up on shore. I like to get everything set up on shore where I think it's gonna be before we go and install them into the water because that way there's no risk of dropping nuts and bolts in the water and having to go to a hardware store on a Sunday to try to, try to piece the things back together. All right, so this system here is four sections of dock. We got one ramp section and three regular sections. Now, the, all the frames are the same, whether it's a ramp or a regular section, so you can pick any section to set up as a ramp. Ramp gets no legs. First section gets four legs. Each section after that gets two legs. So I kind of laid everything out here. I got no legs next to the ramp section. I got four legs next to the first section, and then two for each one after that. So let's go ahead and put set bolts in and get the legs in. All right, so got the bag of set bolts and nuts again. We got the parts card that kind of says what's going on here. We're going to do two bolts. The nut slides in the channel. Slide in from the bottom, slide up to there, and you're going to put your bolt into there. Do one on top and one on bottom. So again, this is this is my section two. My ramp is section one, this is section two. So section two is going to get four legs. So we're going to be putting these set bolts in every corner, whereas on some of the other sections, we're only going to put them on the two end legs. So now that we got all the set bolts and nuts installed, I'm going to go ahead and pre-install the legs on shore. At this point in time, I'm just going to kind of get them roughly to where I think they're going to be. I'll make a final adjustment later. Um, all you need to do this is just a three-quarter inch wrench.
All right, now we got all of our legs pre-installed, we're gonna go ahead and put on the foot pads. Now the foot pads, you'll notice, have a little bit of a ski edge. Um, when we go to do the lift up and drag back at the end of the season to take the docks out, what we want is for that ski edge to kind of be able to scoot up out of the, the sand and muck and rocks and all that. So we want to make sure that the ski edge is in line with the dock. Um, again, we're just using the three quarter inch wrench, same set bolt setup that we have in the corner. Uh, we're going to slip it onto the bottom of the leg and then pinch it tight. Move on to the rest. All right, now it's time to mount our quick clip tip in brackets. So, again, our ramp connection to section two, our four leg section, that's not going to use tip in brackets, it's going to use a ramp hinge. But our connection from two to three and three to four will use uh, the tip in brackets. So let me set this up. Um, you have uh, two nuts and two bolts, just like on the legs holders in the corner, the nut slides in the channel. The bolt threads into the nut, and then the bolt goes through the hole. So you're going to do one on each side. you got a nut slides in the channel. All right, so now the side with the lip is going to go out towards the lake. Um, this side is going to hook into the track system, and then the pinch bolt on the back is what's going to put it in place. So it's going to go right like this. You're going to kind of go in like that and then kind of set it down. Now you want this edge to be about 10 inches from here. So I brought a tape measure. Doesn't need to be perfect. Got to get it pretty close. Um, so right there is about perfect. And then on the back side, you want to tighten that bolt up. Um, and then take a half inch wrench and pinch it down snug. Now look at, a lot of times people will over tighten these. If you over tighten it, this thing starts to rock way up. You don't need to go too tight. Once your once you're hand tight, another half turn is about all you need. Put a little bit of pressure down here while you're cranking that your half turn. Then boom, that's all you need. This thing is stuck on there and you should never have to take these off again. Um, so they should be good. Uh, we got to put on some cross braces right now. Um, any legs five feet or longer are going to get cross braces. Um, cross braces are going to prevent the side to side wobble when these aluminum legs start flexing. Um, five and six foot long uh, legs get a shorter brace. Legs seven or longer get a longer brace. And the reason is you end up being, you have a, a taller center of gravity and then you can fit a steeper brace in there, which is going to do a better job. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is put the clamps on all these. Um, these are aluminum clamps. They bend pretty easy. So you could have either slid these in before you put your foot pads on or we can put them in now. All right, so now that we got our clamps on, we're gonna go ahead and put the cross braces on. The way this is gonna work is your bolt is gonna go through the clamp. Then that's gonna go onto your brace and do it out on the back side. Same thing on the top side. And slide this clamp up here. Bolt goes through the clamp. Not on on the back side. Now we want the cross brace. We don't want it to be all the way to the bottom. We don't want it to be all the way to the top. We want it to kind of split the difference. So if we go ahead and move up here, then we can tighten up this bottom side. And then we're going to leave the top side loose for now so we have some adjustability later. We're going to use a 9 16 inch wrench to tighten all these up. One thing that I like to do is I like to alternate the braces, okay? So if this section went this way, I want this section to go this way, and this section to go down in the opposite direction. All right, so remember, uh, this dock has a ramp section for section one, so your, section, your connection between ramp and section two is gonna be this bar and pin hinge. So this is the shore side of section two, and we're gonna bolt this bar to it, and then our pins 
are going to go, we're going to mount to the end of the ramp and pilot in there. That's what's going to give us our uh, dynamic connection to where you can change angle of approach to get onto the dock. So the way I'm going to do this is I got three bolts. I'm going to slide them in, track system. One goes kind of to the middle. One goes about right there. One goes about right there. I'm going to line up. Sometimes it helps to just kind of set this here like this. Get it where you think you want it. That's about right smack in the middle. And then I can, I can see where my holes are so I can line up where the bolts are going to go. Now I can pop this off. Slide them over the bolts. Then I just got to fasten the nuts on the back side. All right, so now that we got the ramp bar installed, um, the end of the ramp is going to get these hinge pins. Okay, so they're going to fasten to the upper track system of the ramp, and they're going to pile it inside of this hole like this, and that's what's going to give you your ability to change angle. Um, so when we go to fasten these onto the ramp, we're going to install one side to where we can pick the frame up and slide it in, but then we're going to have to leave this off the other side until we get it where we want it and then put it in because once you got these two bolted on, obviously those two can't come apart. All right, so now, uh, like I told you, uh, my customer Vince is using a ram section. Um, so that means section two is your four leg section. That has to go in the water first and the ramp can hinge off of that. Um, now, I know this is a tip-in dock, but if you're using a ramp section, you've got to get your feet wet for the first section dock so you can set this in the water. Now, I haven't adjusted anything. I haven't taken any measurements, so I'm just going to carry this down in. Uh, I'm going to make my measurements in the water and then I'm gonna be able to uh, transfer those to the rest of the dock for how far we stay above the water, et cetera. And I'll also put the ramp hinge on, or the ramp on once we get down there. All right, so now that we got the four leg section out in the water, we just got it kind of, kind of got it roughly placed. Uh, we're gonna take the ramp section. Again, I pre-installed one side of the ramp pins. We're gonna install the other side once we get down there. So again, now we're gonna install the up opposite side of the ramp pin. Carriage bolts go on the track. Pin pilots into the ramp bar. Line it up with the holes. So again, what this ramp allowed us to do with this ramp hinge was we were able to pitch up from the shoreline to the first section of the dock and then go out from there. All right, so again, um, we've We've set our four leg section and we got our ramp hooked up. Um, this is a first time setup, so we don't know where the legs are supposed to be. Um, this, is a, this is a pretty rough lake. You can get a lot of big waves in here, so I'm actually gonna keep the dock uh, 21 inches above the water. Um, I already measured. This first one is perfect. So now I'm gonna go to the other legs and, uh, and measure so that we're 21 inches. That'll set everything. That'll keep the level that we're gonna take all the way going out. Um, you could also use a level to do it. I like to use a tape measure, just measure down to the water because the water's level. When we're tightening up the set bolts, we don't want to over tighten. Um, there's no need to go too tight. Once I get the hand tight, I like to go a solid three quarters of a turn around, and that should be plenty. All right, now that we got our ramp in section two installed, we're going to go ahead and put on our deck panels for these. Okay, so this is a brand new installation. Again, I have no idea where the legs need to be set. I can guess on shore, uh, but first year it can be easier to just go ahead and take some measurements. Next year when you go to put the dock in, all these legs are right where they need to be in the frame, and that's when it can go very fast, just splash, splash, splash. For this year, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out eight feet, take a depth measurement, add my 21 inches to that, and then set myself up on shore so when I go to tip it in, it's right where I want it. Eight feet. Our depth is 29 inches. Now before I can grab my next section, I want to go ahead and tighten up this cross brace. Remember we left the top side loose. We tightened up the bottom side because that's going to be down near the lake bottom. We left the top side loose, that way we still had independent adjustability of the legs. Now that we got everything adjusted, we'll go ahead and tighten that up.
All right, so we just tipped the section in. Now we can go ahead and tighten the quick clips on the lake side. Again, we don't want to go crazy with over tightening. Once you get it hand tight, go another turn, turn the half, and you should be good. All right, now that we got all the deck panels down, we'll go ahead and slide the decking clips in. So we do two decking clips per panel. This just keeps, uh, you know, if you have a rogue wave come in, hit the bottom of the panels. This keeps the panels from popping out. Although the sure step does a great job of letting water flow through anyways, just an extra safeguard. Slide them in the upper track from the end into position, two per panel, so two per side of the dock. All right, now it's time for my favorite part, putting the caps on. This job is reserved for the person who installed the dock. So if you were sitting on the deck, watching somebody else put the dock in, you're not allowed to do this. This is the best part, it means the dock is done. We got caps for the top of the poles and for the unused leg holders. There we have it, dock installed, ready to go, happy customer.